Whoopi Goldberg blasts Trump over Social Security comment, we can put you in jail for your entitlements. Whoopi Goldberg has slammed Donald Trump for the comments he made about the mismanagement of Social Security benefit programs. She claimed that Social Security is not an entitlement, adding that U.S. citizens paid for that. She had previously slammed the Supreme Court ruling that added Trump back to Colorado's state ballot for the upcoming presidential election. What Whoopi Goldberg said about Donald Trump on Tuesday's episode of The View, co-host Goldberg discussed Trump's comments about the United States currently running Medicare and Social Security programs per Fox News. The former president had said during CNBC's Squawk Box that there is a lot that can be done in terms of cutting and also the theft and bad management of entitlements. I know that they're going to end up weakening Social Security because the country is weak, Trump added taking a shot at the policies that President Joe Biden has implemented. In response to Trump's remarks, Goldberg directed a dig at the billionaire mogul, saying, yeah, we could put you in jail for all your entitlements. She then added, Social Security is not an entitlement. We paid for that, amid cheers from the audience in the studio. Whoopi Goldberg previously slammed the Supreme Court's Colorado ruling. This is the second time this month that Goldberg has taken a shot at Trump during The View. Last time, she opined about the Supreme Court's decision to allow Trump to be added back to the ballot for the state of Colorado and other states that had previously disqualified him. The thing that bothers me about this, and I know it's probably the right decision, but I don't like that we've normalized this man, Goldberg said to her co-host at the time per decider. It is really irritating the poo out of me that we have normalized him and his bad behavior. She later admitted that she used to be a really big fan of the Supreme Court, which she followed with an accusatory remark about them giving Trump protection via their verdict. He has once again been given a rubber to put on and walk through the poo, she said, adding, yes, yes, you heard me, to show that she wasn't mincing her words the Supreme Court ruling on Donald Trump being disqualified from Colorado ballot. The Supreme Court ruling followed months of debate about whether Colorado's decision to remove Trump based on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment should stand. The state had disqualified Trump after a petition was brought by a group of voters who argued Trump should be disqualified from the ballot, claiming that he had a role in the January 6, 2021 riot at the U.S. Capitol. In the verdict, the Supreme Court said that Colorado and other states were not empowered to use the Insurrection Clause. We conclude that states may disqualify persons holding or attempting to hold state office, but states have no power under the Constitution to enforce Section 3 with respect to federal offices, especially the presidency, read their unanimous ruling per CNN. They added, Nothing in the Constitution delegates to the states any power to enforce Section 3 against federal office holders and candidates. The ex-president is still on track to be the Republican presidential candidate. Despite several attacks on his candidacy and comments criticizing him as the wrong choice, Trump is still on track to be the Republican presidential candidate in the U.S. election later this year. He took a commanding lead in the Republican primaries on Super Tuesday garnering 995 delegates compared to his competitor, Nikki Haley's 89. Haley has since dropped out of the race, leaving Trump with a clear route to amass the necessary 1,215 delegates to clinch the Republican presidential nomination later this month. In his speech after the victory, Trump described the upcoming election as the single most important day in the history of our country before promising to make America great again. Trump added, per Yahoo, our cities are choking to death, our states are dying, and frankly, our country is dying, and we're going to make America great again, greater than ever before. Thank you very much. It's been a big night. Thank you very much. Thank you.
GoFundMe launched for Donald Trump stalls at $1.3 million. Amid his legal battles, Trump's MAGA supporters set up a GoFundMe to assist the former president in paying a hefty bill from his New York City fraud trial. Elena Cardone, wife of real estate mogul Grant Cardone, launched the GoFundMe to raise the $355 million the president was initially fined by New York Judge Arthur N. Garon. However, speaking on the GoFundMe, Elena said, We want to be clear about the intended use of the funds raised. Every dollar will be used only to cover fines related to the New York civil fraud case, its appeal, and any related expenses. Although Trump has not personally acknowledged the existence of the GoFundMe page, Elena revealed that she is in contact with the ex-president's team to ensure he accepts the money raised. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like comment to help us out.